Okay, so this is, these are like all quadratic ex expressions because they have the highest power of two right here. Mm -hmm. And they're trinomials because they have like three terms. And they're also the easiest kind of factor. Do you know why they're the easiest kind of factor? Because they have a coefficient of one. Yeah, they have a coefficient of one. So it makes life a lot easier. So the way I do these problems is I think of, this is only when they have a coefficient of one. It's, it's not going to work when there's coefficients. So I think of like a bookshelf. And I put this number. I don't worry about the sign. I just put that number up high right here, 23. And then just ask yourself, well, what times what is 23? Um, I don't know of anything. 23 times 1? Oh. 3 times 1. All right. So then you put your, that's the only option, so that's what we're going to put over here. But normally we would ask ourselves, like, all right, through addition or subtraction. So here, how can I add or subtract 1 and 23 to get negative 22? Right, um, so, you, so how would you do that? You're subtracting. Well, you, you can change the signs. These are your options. You, ha you can do that. You can do that. You can do um, no, you negative do 1 and positive 23. So you, you just have to mess around with all the different combinations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how, how would it give you negative 22? Positive 1 minus 23. Yeah, so positive, so positive 1 and negative 23. That gives you negative 22, right? Yeah. All right, you just finished your factoring problem. So we'll go like that, we go like that, we go like that, we go like that. We write our positive 1, we write our negative 23, and then we get our V and our V. It's done. Yep. And you can check it um, by, foiling. by foiling it. What's your last? If you do your first inside, outside, last, what does your last give you? Their, your middle number. No. So oh. remember the cars? So here are the cars. cars are one, aren't our one and three last? Yeah, but that's not the middle number. The last gives you the last. Oh. So, right, if from, so this is the first, from the perspective of this person here, and this is a garage from the perspective of this person. If you have A and B and C, and D, which terms are the last terms? B and D. B and D. If I were to put them together, like if I were to foil that out, right, what would my first be? Uh, a, a, C. A, C, uh huh. First, and then my outside would be what? B, D. Outside, uh. Oh. Um, A and of, D. Huh? A and D. Yeah. A and D, and you can think of outside too as like, I don't know, like when you work out, you know, like quads, like your outer thigh is going to be sore, mm -hmm. like outer or the, where the pockets are. So AD, and inner is what? BC. BC, and last? BD. BD, all right. So here, these guys will come together, if they were friendlier numbers, they will be, to give you your middle. Okay. Right, so this is your middle. But how do you get the firsts? How do you get, I'm sorry, how do you get this guy from but foil? In, um, A and C. Yeah, so is it your first, your outside, your inside, or your last? Your first. Yeah, and so it's your first that when you bust this up. It also gives you your first thing right here. So your first cars also give you your first term. Also give you this guy right there. Do you get that? Yeah. 
All right. How did you get BD? Um, by multiplying your last. Your last. Your last will also give you your last. So your last here will come together to give you your last here. Okay. And your first will give you your first. It's just your outside and your insides have to be added to give you your middle. Okay. All right, so let's do another one. So we put it on our bookshelf. Whatever goes on top. 24. 24, all right, so how do we get 24 through multiplication? We can try six and four. All right, 24, we try six and four. All right, and we got like eight and three and 10 and no 10, 12 and two. And do, can any of those numbers give us what? Negative 10. What can give us negative 10? Six and four. How can six and four? So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like that, like that, like that like that, I'll put my V in place, my V in place. And how can six and four give us negative 10? Negative six and negative four. Negative six and negative four. Then you just drop them in exactly like that. Yep. And then you check your last, just like these cars. So what would you be multiplying together with these cars? B and D. B and D, now to check your, your B and D over there. What are you gonna get? Positive 24. And does that work out? Yes. All right. So what do I do here? Teach me how to do this problem. You put your negative, you just put your eight on the bookshelf, actually. Yeah, put your eight on the bookshelf, and what? And then what are the factors of eight? Mm -hmm. Add up to negative. Okay, what are those? We have eight and one. We have two and four. Two and four. That's about it. All right. What um what adds up of those factors to get us negative two? Mm -hmm. So it's negative four and positive two. All right, so negative four and positive two. So now what do I do? We fill it in to our little, I don't even know what you call that parenthesis thing. Okay. You get K minus four or negative mm -hmm. four. And then the next one would be K positive two. It's, these guys are really nice because there's like no trial and error. Mm -hmm. You know, like you're just going to get it right. All right, and then, but you want to double check your last, make sure you did things right. So double check your last, what do you get? Negative eight. Are we good? Yes. All right, next one. Okay, go over here. You put our negative 13 on the top. Just the 13, go ahead. Oh, and then our factors of 13 are 13 and one. 13 and one, okay, now what do we do? What of those factors add up to get negative 12, which we know is negative 13 plus one. So negative 13 plus one, all right. And now what? We plug it in like G minus 13 and G plus one. G minus 13 and G plus one. All right, check your last, are we good? Yes. Yep, negative 13. 13. All right, last one. Uh, okay, so we put our 40 up there. Mm -hmm. And what the fuck is a 40? Five, five and eight. Five and eight. Do you know how to get factors if you forget? Factor tree. Okay, let's do 40 in a factor tree. So then okay. how do you get your factors? You have five and eight. No, like let's do, do, let's do it from here. Because sometimes you, you can blank out on a factor. So if you have a factor tree, how, how is that going to help you get your factor? I don't know, you just have to know what multiplies to get that number. So when we did our factor tree before, like what do, like for, for busting out like roots, what, oh, do, oh, it, what do we put on the left? You do the smallest. All right, so what do you put here? Two. Two, and what do you put here? One. Okay, now what do we put here? Two. And what do we put here? One. Okay, what do we put here? Two and five. Two and five, okay, now you put them in order. So you have, so 40 is the same thing as two times two times two times five. And I know that that times that times that is eight, so eight times five is 40. And then now you just mess with your combinations. So it's that times that. So what's our first pair? Two times 12. No, Wait. because we're, we're multiplying. So what's two times two times five? 10, no, 20. 20, so we know that two and 20 is, is a combination, right? Yeah. All right, so all you do is mess with your combinations. Well, let's do these two now. 
So four and ten. Four and ten. Did we get them all, or can we do more combination? I think that's it. Okay. Four and ten. Um, the other thing you can do, which I saw in like a fourth grade book, and I thought that was really cool, was a factor rainbow. Have you ever seen that? Mm -mm. Okay, so you get your. We're trying to do forty, right? So yeah. You get your one, and you get your one and. 40. Like, I had never seen this before, and it was in a fourth grade book. So you go, all right, well, 1 times 40 is what? 40. All right, what's our next number after 1? 2. Can 2 go into 40? Yes. 2 times what is 40? 20. 2 times 20. All right. Can 3 go into 40? No. Can 4 go into 40? Yes. How can 4 go into 40? Multiply by 10. All right, 4 and 10. Can 5 go into 40? Yes. How can 5 go into 40? By 8. 5 and 8. Can 6 go into 40? No. Can 7 go into 40? No. You see how we're back to 8? Yeah. We're done. That's all of them. Okay. Okay, so let's, you can do a factor tree or a factor rainbow. All right. Okay. Um, all right, so which ones do we use? Uh, 8 and 5. 8 and 5. All right, so how... How can 8 and 5 give us what? Negative 8 and negative 5 add up to negative 13. Negative 8 and negative 5. All right, so we got boom, 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 boom. And what do we have? We get u minus 8 and u minus 5. u minus 8 and u minus 5. And that's correct. And we check our last, right? Yep. Okay. Any questions on factoring with a coefficient of 1? No.